Thanks for dropping in. This is the Six Alarm Puzzle Box, my latest 3D printed design. In this video, I'll reveal the puzzle solution and the mechanisms that make it work. But first, a non-spoiler preview for those who'd like to tackle this hydrant head scratcher on their own. The goal is to discover two hidden compartments somewhere inside the hydrant. You'll need to do this without prying, shaking, extreme force, or external tools. As for difficulty, I'd rate this a 7 out of 10. Slightly easier than the Barrel Cooper's puzzle box, but more difficult than my treasure chest designs. If the puzzle interests you, the print files will be released for free next week, along with an assembly video. Okay, that's all I can share before getting into spoilers. Those who want to solve the puzzle themselves should pass this over to a willing 3D printing friend so they can get a ready to solve print. With that warning out of the way, let's solve the puzzle. At first glance, the hydrant has a few obvious moving parts. All three outlets rotate easily, and the two side outlets rotate together as if they're linked. These spinning bolt heads, well, they're just a red herring. I try not to add too many fake outs in my puzzles, but I'm not above a little misdirection here and there. With a little more searching, you'll find that both side outlets aren't a single piece. They're comprised of two independently moving rings, held tightly together with magnets. To proceed, we'll need to find some more clues, and those are built right into the hydrant's design. Both side outlets are embossed with a broken circle. This gap acts like a pointer to track the outer ring's rotation. And near those outlets, you'll find a small inset dot. The dot on the right side points down, and the dot on the left side points back. And here is where the first move comes into play. Rotate the side outlets until the embossed circle points to one of those dots. I'll focus on the right outlet, but you could actually begin with either side. Once the dial's in place, hold it still and rotate the inner ring clockwise. If you have the positions just right, the inner ring will be free to rotate 360 degrees, clicking six times as it goes. These six clicks are where the six alarm puzzle gets its name. The outlet is now locked in place, and the right half of the hydrant is solved. When we first started, the two side outlets were linked, but now the opposing outlet is free to move independently. Let's shift our focus to that side and repeat the previous steps. Line up the outlet with the indicator dot and then turn the inner ring 360 degrees, another six clicks. This will lock the second dial in place and we can move on to the front outlet. Slowly rotate the dial while pulling gently on the bottom of the hydrant. Eventually, the bottom will fall off and we'll have access to the first hidden chamber, which has plenty of room for a maker chip or some other small prize. Opening the chamber will also expose a path to a second compartment, although it's easily overlooked. This semicircular cutout is a magnetically held door, and since shaking, prying, and external tools are against the rules, we'll need some other way to pull it open. The answer is two magnets hidden in the hydrant's base. Place the top of the hydrant above the base, like this. The embedded magnets will latch onto the door, so you can slide it out. This gives you access to the second chamber, which extends all the way to the top of the hydrant. If you're gifting the puzzle to someone, you might choose to keep the second compartment a fun surprise. An observant puzzle solver will usually keep on examining a puzzle after it's solved, even if it's just to confirm how it works. Speaking of how things work, I promise to share how the mechanism does its thing. And for that, I made a cutaway copy of the puzzle with a clearer view of what's going on. The side outlets extend deep into the puzzle core and latch together. A lot like a car clutch, rotating one half also turns the other. When you rotate the inner rings, these latches retract like a bolt turning through a stationary nut. 
Here's an earlier prototype of the mechanism with magnets installed. I kind of like this clicky mechanism. It might reuse it in a future fidget design. What do you think? The front dial is a much simpler mechanism. It's merely a rotating ring with a small notch cut out of it. When the notch faces down and both side outlets are fully retracted, the puzzle core becomes clear for the base to slide in or out of the central slot. If any one of these three outlets is blocking that path, the base can't slide through and the puzzle remains locked. Next week, I'll be back with a bonus video dedicated entirely to assembling the puzzle. While this is a super easy design to print, assembly is complicated enough to justify its own update. If you plan on printing this design, the video description will include a heads up on the bolts and magnets recommended for the build. That way you can get a jump start on sourcing those items. Until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Did you happen to notice the prize that was included in the puzzle box? This is my personalized maker chip, based on a design by K2 Kevin. Except this model is actually a springy fidget. If you like the design, I've released the model for free in all the usual places. Just add your own logo to customize it. Alright, see you next time.